The bustling streets of Wuhan, a central Chinese city, are now the site of the world's largest driverless car fleet. One of the tech giants that has introduced autonomous cars is Beidou. But as China aggressively pushes for robo-taxis on Chinese streets, traditional cab drivers fear job losses. Not just that, experts say that even the driving instructors have a bleak future ahead of them. China is speeding ahead of other countries in letting robo-taxis take to the streets. The autonomous cabs are now a common sight in the central city of Wuhan. Autonomous driving has just been launched. Run by tech giant Baidu, they don't have any human driver, though a service assistant can always be contacted. All that puts China not only at the cutting edge of technology, but also social change. Taxi drivers Reuters spoke to, but weren't allowed to film, said the robots had taken a big share of short-distance trips and were hitting their incomes. With Baidu planning to expand to 100 cities by 2030, that has cab drivers across the country worried. In Beijing, Jun Tianchen at the Economist Intelligence Unit says officials will be watching very carefully. The government will increase uh, its, in, uh, its intervention in the market by, for example, limiting the quotas of uh, uh, robot taxis on the road, for example. Yeah, and uh, it is uh, probably also uh, will be uh, stepping up its uh, support for for the employment of uh, those drivers that could be uh, losing their jobs. It's not just taxi drivers that are worried. Robots are also taking over as driving instructors. At this driving school near the capital, they started automating instruction in 2019. Most students now opt for robot teachers, and pass rates are said to have risen. Manager Zhang Yang says the school already needs fewer instructors as a result. Regarding labor costs, there are definitely savings. With our current training model, students learn independently of instructors, which also elevates the ability of students to learn on their own. During training, instructors play a supporting role, while our AI system in the car gives key training and operation pointers. So the instructors assist students in their learning. This significantly reduces the ratio of instructors needed. In June, China gave nine automakers approval to test advanced driverless systems on public roads. Then, last month, it published draft regulations for their use in public transport and ride hailing. With a slew of local testing projects now underway, the rise of the robots looks very unlikely to stop.